said, what happened? I must have my old camera stand. So if you said, what do I see? A dog that's going to run towards this camera. I'm just going to give me a chance to stop it. Have all y'all see exactly what's going on here. You, you've got to initially do it. I mean, we are, I don't know how long in we are, but if you said two weeks, okay, then we're at the right place. So he's now sort of bothering this dog. <laughs> he's gonna... Look at he's jumped up there. I hit the pager and went this way. I'm not trying to make it fail. The, pa the pager is a presupposition for success. I don't know what else to tell these people. Keep on, keep on, keep on saying I'm wrong. I got the facts on my side. If you said you shouldn't have reacted like that. And I'm going to show you, I have been hitting the Nick when he jumps on me. If you said that's one of his strategies, absolutely. Well, button. I understand it. You got like, love, well. Wow. He's gonna go right for the camera. Watch. <laughs> now, if if given a chance, he's got a couple different behaviors for a stationary handler that's standing up. If you said one is do the punch jump, and the other one is to lay down, and now that it's to go over there. <laughs> That was a head dip indicating his subconscious said lay down. You said, yeah, that's, that's good. That's, that's what we want. If you said what, their subconscious will tell them to jump and they'll inhibit themselves from doing that behavior prior to what we're getting right here. So that was just getting him back to me, but I'm still facing away. If you said that was a short distance. It was a short distance, but the handler was facing away. It's a tender and precious, cutest dog ever. Ah! All right, Elizabeth, if you're there, this is the drill. I hope Elizabeth is there. This is the drill you need with Douglas, and it's the, it's the beginning part where you're faltering. It, it can't get it right from the beginning and all the frustration. So rather than you waiting it out, that was before. That was to get the behavior. All right, now if you said now what, get him away. You now need this other little drill, which is the musical chairs. The musical chairs drill. Where the sitting down triggers the behavior, so we don't have all that frustration behavior of barking, just the sitting. I know you don't feel too, you're gonna have to get up. If you said go to the same spot, possibly. Possibly. The end of the drill is the dog laying down, though, not continued. He said that's what I'm trying to do now. I know, but if we speed the process up and get your sitting down to initiate the behavior, you're not gonna run into that frustration though. So just this, and we can do it with the kids. You can use the kids. It needs to be everybody. It needs to be so exhausting for you to do it. That's why you had these kids, girl. That's just the end, and we just got other stuff to do, which is go to here, possibly. But it's got to be, the second it lays down, that's the end. So he says to himself, the faster I do that part, he said that's the micro task, it is. The actual laying down of the micro task. He said, you're not, I'm not in sync at all with the dog. I'm not in sync at all with the dog. And that's what this, you're trying to do with this drill. If you said because you're combining it with the going up there too much, I could have it on the ground. Just get there, that's the end. It's the only way they're going to do it fast. And if you said and then combine that with the other part, oh my God, yes, combine that with the other part. But that's the only way you're going to maintain engagement 
if they're sitting down, they're gonna lose interest in you. And if you said, well, I'll get the interest back by moving around real fast, man, yeah, that's gonna fucking be fucked up. That's gonna be fucked up. That's it. It's better to. I'm only asking it to do two things, stop and go. But if you said you're asking it to go fast, yeah, yeah. If you, if you said you're asking it to lay down that it thinks it's its own idea. <laughs> if I sit there and tell struggle and then tell these owners to make this dog lay down, if you said, what am I thinking? I'm thinking of a strategy, which is gonna be go, oh, he's going the opposite. <gasps> that he said he's getting ready to jump on me, possibly. <laughs> He said, what was wrong with that? You really don't, don't reward him for being behind you. <laughs> don't reward him for being behind you. Okay, hang on, let me use some more treats, but I've got him doing this little drill. And if you said, what do we need to do now? I've got him picking stuff up, but now we need to get him bringing it to you. All dogs pick things up. All dogs don't bring things to the people. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I spun him off the dog. success or it would not go there it would look away when it saw the handler coming it would fucking look away from the proper i don't know how else to explain things to people it's going there he said it's anticipating there's no anticipating in dogs they uh, they move faster than us it can see what i want it can see what i'm doing that's what i want now this little thing which is kind of like the tray that I used when they were a puppy and I have several objects that are similar the difference without a descent uh -oh. if you said what is this drill it's going to be the Pez container drill understanding that this dog has a retreat reflex He said, what's the, what's the precursor for the getting them to bring stuff? Driving them to that platform. If I cannot drive the dog to the platform, I'm screwed. I'm not asking him to bring me anything. I'm asking him to bring something to the platform. Because he already goes there anyway. If you said to me, can you drop this off? I would say, I'm literally going right by there. No problem. <laughs> that, that's how, you know, I mean, it's, it's not... You have to do, people make it too, they just, they don't understand subtasks. I don't know what else to say. Okay, so what I did, the first time he did it, and that's what you guys complained about, he was a thief. <laughs> Stealing everything. And if you said why, because you just had such reactions to him doing it. Your reaction just got off and then he just, he was just toying with you, girl. I don't want to be mean, but that's what they do. Don't feel bad, they do it to me too. Shoe bottom, oh. <laughs> Shoe bottom grabs my shoe and starts running every single day. You should taunt me. Yeah, shaking her head, taunting me. All right, so if you said, where's the beginning of the drill? When the handler sits down. All right, so I got a bunch of treats in one hand. I'm already saying to myself, I'm gonna catch with this hand, and that is gonna be the treats. Catch, treat, catch. You gotta practice it. If people get their hands all mixed up. I'm like Mick, had treats in both hands, and was trying to. I 
I made a fast move. I did it before he got up. He's thinking he wants a drink. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you see, he started to go away. Now, Mike, you just scoot along. <laughs> if you said he only made a cursory search, yes. If you said, will he go back? I'm pretty sure he will. Oh. Oh. You said you turned it all around on him, but you totally saw he was trying to mess. He was totally trying to mess with me. If you said it's entertaining for them, it is entertaining when you chase them around. I've done it a million times. It doesn't work. You say he's gonna probably lay down again. Yes, we're structuring every second of this dog's life. It doesn't have an oven glue. It's just like Amazon controlling my whole life. I do have a clue though. If you said that may lead to laying down, it may. You've got to hit the wow button. You've got to hit the wow button. It's got to be more than just, like you said, it doesn't see micro expressions. That's all they say. It doesn't see micro expressions. That's all they say. If you said a smile is a micro expression, not even close, not even close. People don't see micro expressions. that he's expanding more effort than you. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. It has more energy than me. If you said, I'm not seeing a retreat reflex, I'm not. If you said, should we do this with our expensive Ray-Bans? <laughs> All right, so if you said, now how do we start getting some distance? Because that's what you have to start doing. You've got to start adding some hold. If, if you said part of a delivered hand is you can have any hope of turning it into a train to retrieve. It's gonna have to have a hold. So how are you gonna get the hold? If you said, I'm gonna stand there until it's a hold. I'm, I know how to do that one too, but for your, for novice trainers, that's, it's hard. If you said everybody can do a train to retrieve, Jim Dobbs coined the phrase in the 90s, everybody can't fucking do one. Uh, if you said, what about everybody in the Professional Retriever Trainers Association? <laughs> yes, all of them, but <laughs> that's not that many people. Uh-oh. potential for failure. He's got to figure out what's going to be successful. He said that's a com complex problem. <laughs> that's when you're like, goal. You know, that's the objective. If you said he doesn't, that's all they say. That's all they often say. And if you said the second it picked it up, it had a presupposition for return back to where you were because you were by the platform, not because you're this great person. Yes. <laughs> he said, now he's trying to get a drink. He said he'll be in there in two seconds. So if you said, how are you measuring your hold? In yards. If you said that was a yard, that was one yard. <laughs> you said, you're gonna need yards and yards and yards and yards. <laughs> it's, I don't know what else to tell you. It's not, it's not gonna just figure it out after one little drill. Yards and yards and yards and yards. You said, how could you make it easier? I mean, you can't put them on something. If you said, oh, I was seeing them out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> said you were too slow. I was too slow. I didn't expect him to do it that fast.
You're always, and I'm just gonna tell you what, the platform is leaving you more flexibility because if I wanted to turn my back on him, I could sit that way. But I'm gonna face this way, you know. Adding a platform to your training is just gonna give the dog more chances. He's thinking about it because he looked down there. It's just gonna give the dog more chances. If you said, do you like everything about this dog? I do, I do. So he's laying down, but if you said now he's failing, it's not failing. It's not failing. There's no failing. It's a six month old dog. If you said he was, he was starting to fail. If you said it's, it would be better if you put him on the ground. I think it would because to me, it's harder to see right there. So I'm gonna put him on the ground. If you said that will help, it will. Molly might run down there. You said as soon as he saw him, he picked him up, he did. You said you wanna hide him. You don't wanna hide him. You don't wanna hide him. If you said you can, you can hide him later. But this, I'm getting that because I've already worked with him going to the platform. Nothing to do with the glasses. I'm not going to stand there and go, come here, come here, come here. If you, I like everything about him, girl. This is a wonderful dog. We're going to work with him and get him trained, whatever it takes. And this dog will be by outside all the time if you said it's going to lay back down. You've got to have something to fill it in between your drills. These drills literally take 10 seconds. So if you said, I'm not, I don't have anything to fill in the rest of the time, I just wait until it's not engaged and then I say, come here, come here, come here. It, it, this is for service and stuff. You need what I call dog in waiting. If you said you can page him out of that, I can. If you said that's a strategy to get rid of that dog. <laughs> so that's what we want, girl. If Al's sitting down, the dog is laying down. It's obviously not going to work. And if you said, what about the phone thing? I'll start doing the phone thing. In fact, I'll call you because the dog needs to stay there. He said, now what? I do have the ability to move it around. I'm not saying to myself, okay, I've got it doing all these things right here, but if it runs off, I'm fucked. If it runs off, I, that's my big main plan. It, it's, got, it's got a very fast, it's thinking of laying down. It's, it's a very, very good dog. It's very, it's very, he's very easy to manipulate. He's gonna do that and then he's gonna dance back over here. himself to do that he did if you said he hooked your leg he did hook my leg <laughs> a lot of them do that anyway girl that's where we're at and if you said what else my big picture is that recall and I think Chase is out there if I call Chase up there I'm gonna go inside get some more treats but if he sees Chase if he said if he sees another dog he would run away from us yeah if he said he's the only dog as far as I know most of them do that if you're there, nothing's going on, they see another dog, they say, hey, they have some reaction to it. This is an older seasoned dog, nothing bothers it. They have some reaction. They're either afraid of it, they're over, they wanna be friends with it, they take off and go, <laughs> you're out. The bottom line is you're out.
So if the dog does start just naturally walking along with you, I, I do. I do. Ah. You said you wanted immediately looking at you? Yes. And you said, what about if it's looking at that bird? <laughs> it's it's going to go after the bird. So if you said, what do we want? We want the concession that if the handler sits down, the dog gets down and lays down. All right, so if you said, what if he sees another dog? I'm fairly certain he'll abandon me. He said, you're gonna be disappointed. Disappointed, I'm gonna say that's normal behavior. Chase! So she said she'll kind of, like, all right, there she goes. She, if you said she knows if she comes up here, he's going to start tackling her. Chase! <laughs> oh, Molly going to get her <laughs> Chester! did that because of Molly. All right, look, go, go. I said, what am I adding to pager? Where am I get up? If he said, let it get in proximity, that dog, absolutely. Don't short check it. Don't short check it. Chester! I don't know what else to tell you. But it needs to turn around and see your back turned. I need to have the best shot. Right the dog is all the way out there now. If you said it's forgot about it. Forgot about it! Hardly. <sighs> Okay, so the dog is going over there to poop. Every dog takes off running after it poops. Your job is sneak away so that you can tap into that. <laughs> you said you weren't fast enough? If you said he's in heightened reality because of that dog, Oh, he didn't finish pooping. All right, listen, I'm going inside, get more treats, Sarah.
Okay. Oh, he's pooping out a piece of something. Grass or something. Okay, so we're still working on our other thing where the dog will. We don't, what you don't want, Elizabeth, is a delay. You can barely get the kids doing it. He said he's still thinking about that dog he is. You're training the subconscious dog. That's what you're saying to yourself. He's going back to see what he pooped out. He said its target is this hand. Its target has to be this hand. He said, why not just wherever? Why not just wherever? <laughs> Every recall video I have, these things are pinpointing this hand. If you said it's amazing, you even have a hand. I know, right? But that's what they're doing. If you said you were going by sound, I was training it with my ears and I've got Ben Nichols in the other ear. <laughs> I didn't hear it coming. He said, I've been training with my ears. How much is this dog look? Chester! You're saying go! Getting a little slide, go! <laughs> okay. You're gonna see this behavior. It's, if you said we should laugh, and I don't think you should. It, it, it's, if you said it's a beneficial behavior, it is to them, but we don't want it to be. If you said what would be worse, to get the hose out and start spraying it while he did that. <laughs> start spraying the hose in the pool. Okay, said what did I do that was an overt refusal 
And if you said this dog refuses? It does refuse. That's why it's here. Got in the water and won't come out. If you said, what did you do? I'm gonna have to play it back. I hope it was in the shot. God, please let it have been in the shot. After I, s no, it was. After I saw the dog refuse, an overt refusal, as I was headed out the gate. If you said, what did you do? It looked at me and then started doing that again. If you said, what did you do? I started adding my nick, <laughs> just like I did right then. And if you said, how did you know it was working? I could see it wasn't looking at me, but I was positioned slightly. Now I'm ready to fade out of sight, let's put it that way. But it stopped, it was facing this way a minute. And then at that point I started starting to come and I just opened up the gate and kept going all the way out. But I didn't see it. I did. If you said you distanced yourself. Yeah, I distanced myself an understatement. I went over there and got in a crowd. Listen, Mike, I didn't only distance myself. I got in a crowd. How, if there's three of us, wow, here, why are you blaming me? There's three of us way over here. You're over here. It's happening over here. There's three of us over here. How could it be any of us? If you said it seems to have somewhat lost its appeal. It did. That's it. If you said, what were you on over there? 102. If you said, what were you on just now? 27. If you said, what's the difference? The proximity. The proximity and the fact that it's cumulative. Because I hit it with 102. If you said, how many times? About seven. So if you said you did it for seven one hundredths of a fucking second, yeah, <laughs> I spaced it out a little bit and then I added my pager. And if you said it came a running, oh, it came a running. It was ready to go to the pond then. <laughs> if you said it seems afraid now, afraid, it merely stopped the behavior that was so annoying, which was splashing the water all around. If you said we want that, I'll get right back on it. That won't be hard. He said, oh, oh, get the hose, spray it around in there, grab, so throw something in the bottom like one of their toys, and then they'll start pawing around, throwing, flinging it around, pawing it with their feet, splashing the water. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm working on 900 things at one time. If you said, I want one that as soon as there wa there's water, it says, screw you, and starts clawing the water, forgetting about me. I don't. That dog Millie does it too. I mean, you just have to say to yourself, you know, like when the people come and pick them up and stuff, I definitely don't want them running in the water, getting all wet. He said, you have to somewhat control the water. And not really controlling the water is controlling what's in front of the dog. If there's something in front of you and you can't go any farther or whatever, it can't just be because I said so. I was instantly delighted. I think we need to incorporate this all into the ebook, Mike. Anyway, that's where we're at. If you said that helped your recall, it absolutely did. On a subconscious level, going to the handler was good. And on a subconscious level, staying away was bad. If you said that, that wasn't an affect before. No, it wasn't an affect before. But if you said it's, I, I see that it has the re refusals in it. If you said, well, we did that by accident. You did it by accident, but it's not, uh, it's not, it's, it's not that it can't be resolved. If you said, well, I could see where we could get all this without what you're doing with this collar and the recall. And I know. For me to stand right there and correct it and say, don't get in that water. No, 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 no. Wait until I tell you, then you can get in there. Or just, it's not more interesting than me. I don't know what to say. Anyway, it's a super, super dog. The ends, it ends with the dog at this level of engagement. If you said after a 30 minute collar conditioning session. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where you're adding, doing the page around the neck. And that was 27. If you said, why are you able, these dogs are from several generations of my breeding. You said, what's, what's the secret, who knows? I always have action though. I always have action reaction. 
anyway I'm gonna go back or Mike go back and review that but I could see the dog if you said if you're at this stage and and you're gonna add your neck you want to have a visual most of the time I could see it if he said I could see the thing wasn't even looking at me he was facing the other way I got that far away the dog overtly refused me it looked right at me it saw me way over there by the gate if you said it didn't believe you were going to the pond it thought it was just more of your bullshit probably <sighs> If you see, I waited until it was engrossed in the thing, and I started hitting the nick and turning it up. It wasn't didn't start on 102. If you said, what were you looking for? For it to stop the behavior, for the behavior to, for the nick to have a cumulative effect that the behavior said to itself, this isn't working. <laughs> it isn't working. This isn't working for me. <laughs> the subconscious said. Anyway, listen, let me put this dog up and I'll be right back. I'm trying to get out here early. I might start training at night. This is getting super hot. But I got the van fixed. I got new tires put on it. They couldn't find me a new car, so no sale. Uh, if you said you like it now with the new tires. Yeah, I do. I do. I, do. I didn't like it without it. But anyway, all right, hang on. I'll be right back.